it's uh, always looking for uh, a kind of a psychic nourishment um, food basically which uh, we call steam um, and Crow Daddy is basically the guy who goes out to hunt those kids down that have the, the steam, the special steam or the, the shining. We come across a whale, a very powerful girl that has a lot of steam and that could sustain the true knot for a long, long time. Um, and so that becomes our mission is to, to find her, but little do we realize how powerful this little girl is and how much we have to fight up against. To, to capture her. You know, you could do the cliche monster kind of devilish uh, evil character, but there's a lot more to these characters. They have a, more dimensions to them. And I thought Crow Daddy, the main thing that I, that stuck out for me was just the love that he had for, for Rose. And, uh, you know, I, I get to play a lot of bad guys and, and it's nice to have uh, these different layers to these characters, and uh, Mike's very good at that. I, well, I wanted to be involved because, you know, number one, it was you know, Stephen King. Um, I'm just a big fan of Stephen King, and I was a huge fan of The Shining. Um, I think it it sticks a lot to the, the to the book, and obviously it goes off into its own way. It's a film. It's a, it's, it has its own uh, characteristics as well. Um, I just personally such a big fan of Stephen King and I would do anything to, to be a part of anything. That Hi guys, here's today's daily fact. Many directors are willing to go to any length to make their horror movies more realistic. But for world famous The Blair Witch Project, everyday cast members had to find hidden, vague notes for the story and not reveal them to the other members of cast, then improvising most of their dialogue. Remember to click below to subscribe or on the side for more great content.